Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these beautiful functional equations? We have f of n plus 3 equals n squared plus 9n plus 8. And we want to find f of n. Here we have n plus 3. And we are asked to find only f of n without having any addition or subtraction. So let's see how we can do this. We are going to solve this one using two different methods. At this side, we have a quadratic, n squared. Square indicates a quadratic plus 9n plus 8. So, the first method we are going to use here. So, let's see method 1. First, we write the equation as f of n plus 3 equals n squared plus 9n plus 8. Let's try and factorize this. And I'm going to be showing you the best way of factorizing without guessing. And it works for any form of a quadratic equation. Here 9 is a sum of this and uh, 8 is a product. So let's consider 8. If you have 8, let's look for all the factors of 8. Number that we can multiply together that gives us 8. So the first one is 2 multiplied by 4. And we still have 4 multiplied by 2. We have 8 multiplied by 1. And 1 multiplied by 8. So I don't need negative here. Because this one is only positive. So I will relate what we have here with this. So from what we have here, let's look at the number that when we add it together, it gives us 9. So 2 plus 4, that is 6. And 4 plus 2 equals 6. We are going to cancel these two. And let's come back here. Either we choose 8 plus 1 or 1 plus 8. Any of this one work. So which means we go for any of this. So at this side, we have f of n plus 3 equals, let's create two brackets. So after we create two brackets, we need to write n plus, and this is also n plus. So both of these are positive. We leave this as positive, positive. Then we write this as 8, and we write this as 1. So this is how we can factorize this. So we have two factors of the quadratic above, which is n plus 8 and uh, n plus 1. Good. The next thing is, let's try and uh, form manipulate this. We have this domain as n plus 3. And uh, we want to make sure that these two are also the same thing as n plus 3. How can we achieve that? It's very simple. Here we have f of n plus 3 equals, I need n plus 3 from this n plus 8. Let's write this as n plus 3. Since it was n plus 8 before, we need to add plus 5 to this. So n plus 3 plus 5, this gives us n plus 8. And also, for the second one, we have n plus 1, and we need n plus 8. What we do is, we write first, which is n plus 3 that we need, and uh, it was initially n plus 1. We have to subtract minus 2 from here. That gives us n plus 1. After achieving this, the next is we are going to replace every single n plus 3 in this. We change it to n. So, therefore, our new domain for this function is f of n equals n plus 3 has been replaced with n. So, we have this as n plus 5. And also, this is n minus 2. We have arrived at another um, factor of another quadratic equation. But let's expand this out. If you multiply n by n, n times n, that is n squared, minus n times 2, we have it as 2n, plus 5 times n, that is plus 5n, and 5 times 2, that is minus 10. And then, we have f of n equals 
n squared minus 2n plus 5n. So this is where mistake comes. So we cannot say 2n plus 5n. 7n is wrong. So we follow this operation. Here is minus 2. We are taking minus 2 out of 5. And this gives us plus 3n. And here is minus 10. This is the solution for f of n. The next thing is, let's see the second method. So welcome back to the second method. Let's solve this as well using another dimension different from the first one we have applied. See the one that is very effective. So let me consider the solution again. And here is method, method two. Suppose I let the domain from f of n plus 3, which is n squared plus 9n plus 8. If I let this n plus 3, let it to another letter. Suppose I let n plus 3 here to be equals, so let's choose uh, t for instance. Both C and N, they are members of real number. Let's subtract 3 from both sides. So, 3 cancel 3. And when 3 cancel 3, we are going to have N equals T minus 3. So, after getting this, let's replace everything into this. We try substitute and we try to replace this one with what we have here. And here, we have F of T equals our n square becomes t minus 3 squared, then plus 9 into bracket of t minus 3 plus 8. So this is what we have. And the next thing is, we expand this t minus 3. t minus 3 squared, it means t minus 3 multiplied by t minus 3. Plus 9 times t, that is 9t minus 9 times 3. 3, that is 27 plus 8. So here we have expanding this t times t, that is t squared, minus t times 3, minus 3t, three minus 3 times t, minus 3t, three plus 3 times 3, that is 8. Then plus 9t minus 19. So minus 27 plus 8, that gives us minus 19. And here we have t squared minus 3t minus 3t, that is minus 60. Minus 60, then plus, here is 90 minus, plus 8 minus 19, that gives us minus 11. And therefore we have this as t squared minus so, oh my god, this one is 9, and uh, this one will be 10, okay? So, minus 60 plus 90, that gives us my plus 3t, then minus 10. So, since we have everything here equals f of t, by changing t to um, uh, n, we have f of n equals n squared plus 3n minus 10. So this is the same result as the first one using manipulation method and the substitution method. We get the same answer. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye bye.